Lawmaker Francis Ota Agbo has urged the people of Ephraim and Eza in Ebony states to embrace peace. He spoke while visiting internally displaced persons who were displaced by the crisis between Ephraim and Eza within the local government area of Benue state. Mayuwa Kwato reports. What started as a minor scuffle between Ephraim and Easy members of National Union of Road Transport Workers early this year in Oku local government area in Ebony State soon spilled into Ado local council in Benue State, particularly in Ephraim and Eza settlement. To see how we manage this led to the establishment of IDP camps at the Ijigma, Ulai, Igumale. Upper Ogbozu communities in Ador local government, where thousands of displaced persons have been taken shelter. Right now, we don't have hope of going back to our home. Federal lawmaker first made a stop at Igumali, where he paid a courtesy visit to the Ada Ado and district head of Igumali before proceeding to the primary school where the IDPs are kept. He explained to the Ada Ado that he was visiting the camps and the homes of the victims to see the level of destruction and devastation of lives and properties so it will be internally displaced persons revealed to the lawmaker the cause of their displacement. Eza with a film have problem and these people don't wound my people, no be small. Even many things now for my place, all of them are damaged for my place. This first started at Ebony. Or local local government, but it's accepted to our place because of some of Ephion and Ezra they are living in our land here, Atula here. So because of their brotherly fight there over that side, they now extend the fight to this area. They appeal to the federal government to also intervene. Some suffered because we have no help. Some where we run to, we have no food to eat, and we just they suffer. Some carry baby for hand, some pregnancy. We don't have anything to do, so we are calling government to come and help us. At the two internally displaced camps visited, the Honorable Member harped on the need for forgiveness and reconciliation, saying that it is the only way to ensure lasting peace. These are basically a few people uh, who were affected directly. Many other persons are in the various homes of some consigned uh, people. So I want to thank you both for establishing this. And then uh, I want to also assure you that government is doing everything within its purview to ensure that these people return to their uh, various homes. Youths in Azar community in Benway State thank the lawmaker for his visit, saying it would go a long way in assisting the people to pick the pieces of their lives before they return to their respective communities. <laughs> <laughs>